It all started three years ago with one man making a sandwich. So I started doing that, making sandwiches, me and my wife in the living room table. We kept going out there, going out there. But Alamin Muhammad didn't keep that sandwich to himself. He walked out his front door and into his neighborhood and handed that sandwich to a man living on the street. Or he wasn't coming through here every Saturday, I know that I would be stagnating. Alamin understands what it's like to feel invisible. I was so hungry one time, a girl had a hamburger and she threw it in the garbage. I went in the garbage, she ate out of the garbage can. You know, that's how hungry I was. And when I did that, it seemed like my whole self-esteem went down the drain. It seemed like I, I knew that I was nothing no more in this world. Alamin grew up in Chicago, and by the eighth grade, he was involved in drugs and gangs. He ended up spending 10 years in prison. I seen people die in front of me, uh, several people, a lot of people. I've been in so many funerals in my life, I really, I lost count. He also lost the joy of life. While in prison, Alamin found Islam and realized he needed a change. He would stand in front of the mirror for hours, trying to learn how to smile again. It needs to hurt. You know, I could get headaches like, I'm trying to smile. Like. <laughs> when he got out of jail, Alamin struggled to find housing or work, and he lived on the street for 10 years. But he did have something valuable, a powerful story to tell. His caseworker, and he looked at me eye to eye and he said, you know what, this story you just told me is real powerful and I'm going to work so hard to help you. One day you're going to help a lot of people and share your story. And I looked at him and I was like, I was like, I'm going to help a lot of people. I just live out of, outside. Alamin started taking classes and eventually earned his associate's degree in addiction counseling. That was one of the best times of my life when I got housing. When they told me that we got somewhere you could stay. Now that he's got a home and a job, Alamin is doing what he can to help others, even if it's simply giving them a sandwich and a smile. And it's not about money. All you have to do is give people a smile, shake their hands, and notice them. Because it's really sad and really hurtful when you feel like you're invisible. Walking around every Saturday, Alamin shakes hands, poses for pictures, and gives out hugs. And he isn't alone. Because of Alamin, nearly 100 volunteers show up every Saturday to hand out sandwiches, toiletries, and soup. They even show up during the bitter cold in February and the hot days in July. In the past, I've tried to volunteer at hospitals, the VA, different places. So, But once we came out here, the energy of Alamine and the whole entire community out here was just contagious and addictive. This is my baby right here. I love this man. Because <laughs> regardless if I've been up all night, if I've been up all month, he going to give me the strength to push on and do better. Absolutely. You know, so at the end of the day, like I said, next week I hope I'm better than what I am right now. Absolutely. I believe you too, okay? I know, thank you. Every Saturday, until every homeless person in Syracuse finds a home, you'll find Alamin under this bridge, changing the world one sandwich at a time. Allison Caliguire, NCC News.